Hey everybody, this is Jeff from Building Aquarium Workshop and today we're coming at you with our 40 gallon breeder tank. We are going to work on getting rid of aptasias. Okay, so for the, this is kind of a beginner reefer series if you will. So if you're starting out in reef, but even if you've been in the reef hobby for a while, um, then you know that aptasias are everywhere. Um, at some point you're probably going to get them um, in your aquarium. And that's okay. So today we're gonna to talk about how to get rid of Aptasias. Um, and we're gonna do that using this, Aptasia X. Okay, now some of you are saying, hey, you know, I don't like using chemicals. I would rather go ahead and use um, some natural method. And uh, so I will put up there the natural methods, of course, are always better if you can do that, go that route. So one of the natural methods uh, you can buy online, maybe at your local store, is the Bergia nudibranch, which is a sl like a slug, okay? So Bergia nudibranch. The only problem with the Bergia nud nudibranch is, is that when they are so proficient at eating aptasias that when you're done, when they're done eating all the aptasias in your tank, they will starve and die. Now, you, you, you're probably going to want to maybe even give them to... Uh, one of your local fish stores who has an aptasia problem or a friend and a fellow hobbyist might want them you could sell them um, that's that's for sure uh, so keep that in mind though okay so if you only got like in this tank I've counted four aptasia so that that, that would necessitate paying a 15 to 20 dollar slug uh, bring you a new brink okay the next thing you can do is to go ahead and you can get a fish there are fish that eat aptasias problem with that is is uh, a lot of them aren't reef safe so then you get fishes that are in there not just eating aptasias but they're eating your corals so you, you don't want that so definitely look those fish up to make sure they're not going to mess with your corals that they are reef safe okay and then most people know and in, another inexpensive way would be the peppermint shrimp Okay, so peppermint shrimp is a, I've done it before, it's a great option. Uh, so, which is what we're gonna do today. We're gonna show you um, how to use this Aptasia X uh, if you decide to go this route. And uh, it, it's safe for fish, so you don't have to worry about that. So, uh, first thing to do if, you know, in using the Aptasia X. Okay, so you'll notice with Aptasia X, it comes in a box like this. It's probably 15, around 15 bucks, something like that, depending on where you get it, uh, maybe a little less. That's the bottle of it, okay? You shake it up real good. And they give you a couple of ex extensions. You know, you get the little syringe. It comes with a little syringe tube, right, that you're going to, you know, use to inject. And they even give you uh, a little, in this brand, gives you a little angled one as well to get to those hard places. Because what you want to do is you want to inject this stuff inside the Aptasia anemone, right? You want to get in there and inject it. Now, first thing we're going to do, first thing we got to do is we need to turn off any flow, any fil filters, any power heads, and like that. That's the first thing we have to do to get the water to be real still. So let's go ahead and let's do that because our power head's still on. Okay, so we've cut the flow to the tank as you can see. The water is very still. And in this corner right there, there is a, tiny, there's a small Aptasia uh, anemone, so we're going to get rid of that one. And then we'll come over here on the rack. For whatever reason, this frag rack they seem to like to go on the underside of it. So that's uh, that's one we got to get rid of as well. I think there's actually three. So there's another one down there too. There's like three on the on this rack, and then there's the one in the corner. Uh, okay, so we've got our syringe ready to go. We've got a little bottle, and we're just going to push down on this to open it up. Okay, and we'll go ahead and get that uh, syringe in there and suck out some of this. Like, purple, like a light purple, so you can see that. We got enough of it there, and we're gonna go ahead and now take into the aquarium or where the aptasias are to shoot them, okay? So we've got our syringe full of the stuff. We've dipped that into the water, and the aptasia is right here, okay? And so we're gonna go ahead and get it in its mouth. There he goes, he's getting ready, ready to take it. And we squirt it, and then you see it's like a paste. There's another Aptasia right here. Get it in its mouth. Put the paste. It's okay if it falls a little off. That's all you're going to do uh, with each Aptasia is inject it direct. Now, why not have the flow? Uh, because the flow is what spreads their uh, seed or babies around, whatever it is, to keep them growing. And the stuff is sticking on them. And that's how you know you got them good. So if, if it's uh, not really pasty enough and it's kind of cloudy, and you're shooting them, it doesn't work. It doesn't work well at all. Uh, more than likely you will have more Aptasia sprout up. 
So that's a tip. Um, so uh, that stops them reproducing. That's that's why I've done so well. Where I it's hard to find any aptages in the aquarium where I I probably had more than a thousand at one time in this aquarium. So all right. Anyway, just wanted to go ahead and go that over that with you and uh, good luck. To those of you who have Aptasia, it's not that big of a concern. Just take care of them from the start. Don't, as time goes by, if you don't take care of them, they will just keep reproducing on their own. Um, flow, no flow, it doesn't matter. They will start popping up everywhere and it will uh, it will be a big problem, okay? So you definitely want to stay on top of it. And uh, hopefully you found this information useful. Please hit a like. And uh, if you want to see more uh, Build an Aquarium Workshop, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.